Hi, welcome to the video. Um, on one of my previous videos, um, somebody left a comment that they'd like to see um, a quick comparison between the uh, between the Sumo and the Marine Master um, 300. Um, specifically, this is the uh, SBDX001, um, and here is the SBDC003. So it's the blue version of the Sumo, sometimes known as the Blue Mo. Um, so this is going to just be a very very quick comparison be between the two. We'll just hold them side by side. You can see um, immediately the difference in the uh, in the sizing of the dial, etc., and the difference in the bezel in the case. Um, quickly going through the specs for the uh, for the Blue Mo. Okay, it's got a case size um, diameter of uh, forty five millimeters. It's uh, it's a thickness case of 13.5 millimeters. It's got 20 millimeter lugs, um, and lug to lug, it is um, 52 millimeters. Um, so that's quite quite a distance. But it, as you can see, it's a beautifully curved case. There's been quite a few videos on this already on on on, uh, on YouTube, going on about how brilliant the case is finished on here, where you've got a difference. You know, you've got the the polished areas, and then you've got the the beautifully brushed areas as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful case. Um, the dial itself, you can see the applied indices there. That's beautifully done. Um, really, really nice, high quality. Um, the hands are beautiful, um, polished. Even the uh, even the second hand is is really, really nicely done. Um, it's got a sign crown. You can see there. It's got the the Seiko S on the crown. Beautiful blue, um, I guess it's aluminium bezel. The movement is um, 6R15, um, and as with all um, um, Seikos, or most Seikos, especially the divers, the loom is absolutely phenomenal. Um, uh, and you know, it's, it's just like all other Seiko divers, just brilliant, brilliant loom. And in particular, this is, this is very, very good. The weight of it is 170 grams. Um, and as I said, it's a 6R15 movement with 50 hours power reserve. Um, just a really, really beautiful watch. Um, retail, I looked it up on it in, in, in UK pounds. It's, uh, you can get them for £280, which is massive bang for buck. Really, really, really great bang for buck. Okay, we have a look at the SBDX001, which is going up a notch in price and, and quality as well, I think. Um, this uh, this is the SBDX001, as I said. This has now been replaced by the SBDX017. There are slight differences in the spec, which you can which you can look up online. I think things like dial shield, which is a protective coating for for uh, for the case and bracelet. Um, this is uh, 44 millimeters across, whereas the Sumo is 45. Now this is a lot thicker. This is um, this is 14.6 millimeters as opposed to the Sumo, which was 13 and a half millimeters. Both of them have uh, 20 millimeter lug to lug. Um, I'm sorry, 20 millimeters lug um, space in there. Um, lug to lug. Um, I'm not actually taking that measurement. That's so bad. But let's have a comparison. It's shorter. So the Sumo. The Sumo was um, it was 52 millimeters lug to lug, and I would say that's probably about 50 actually. So it's not quite quite as um, as to, um, as wide, well, not wide in length. I guess you'd call that length. So um, the, the, one of the no things about this is I just point this out first before I forget is that there's no there's no um, um, sign crown on this, and I think a friend of mine pointed out that it looks very similar the crown to the uh, to the SKX 7 where they kind of uh, gone into the parts bin and thought, well, we, we'll we'll use that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just you you would have expected with a with a higher end diver um, um, in the Seiko range to have that uh, have have that signed. Okay, what else can I tell you? Um, it's got a beautiful beautiful bezel. Um, it's not uh, ceramic, but it's kind of got that ceramic look to it. I think there's some kind of uh, lacquering process that have, that's gone on there. Something I've mentioned before in previous videos is there's no case back to this. 
um, it's it's a solid case back, so everything is is dropped in from the top when it's uh, when it's put together. Um, it's eight um, eight L thirty five movement, which is a pretty high grade uh, high grade Seiko movement. Again, it's got absolutely fantastic loom. If you've seen any of my shots on uh, on Instagram, you'll see some of the loom shots I put on there. looks looks absolutely brilliant. Like the uh, the Sumo, it's got the uh, the Seiko Hardlex crystal rather than sapphire, but I've, I've never had a problem with that. Weight wise it's 200 grams, now that's with the bracelet and I think when I gave you that weight for the Sumo of 170 grams that was that that was when it was on its original bracelet, I've got an 8 on it at the moment. So it's 170 with the bracelet for that and 200 uh, grams for that so you can see how much heavier this, this, this one is. Um, retail price wise I, they were I think around about um, 12 they're around but because it's used they're around about 1200 pounds now for a for a very very good um used um um watch and i think the sbdx now um which has replaced this i said there are there are um there's slight differences um that is around about i've seen that advertised for around about 1500 pounds so a, a lot more expensive um than the uh than the sumo so probably you're getting more bang for your buck with the Sumo than you are the uh, the Marine Master, um, but it is an absolutely superb watch. The Marine Master is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the same as the Sumo, but it, in different ways. You know, you can see where the extra money's gone here. I think um, maybe not double. Um, it shouldn't really be double the the value of this one, but you can you can see this this is a step up. Obviously, a better uh, better movement, etc. So I hope that was useful. Um, I try to get as many facts out in a short space of time as possible. I've forgotten a few of them, so I apologise for that. But I hope you found it useful. And um, look, uh, look out for my next videos. Thanks very much.